going on, my friends? I'm Lauren Gardner, and welcome to this Friday edition of Quick Pitch, presented by Blue Emu. Well, you know it was only a matter of time before the Yankees' offense. Hey, so remember when the A's lost their first six games of the year? Well, that seems like a different season now. Oakland has won 12 straight and are the fifth team in the modern era to have a win streak that long at the 20-game mark. Now they need eight more to match the famous 2002 Moneyball win streak of 20. Time now for the Marlins and the Giants. Well, among the many milestones that Jacob DeBrom set on Friday, he became just the fifth pitcher in Mets history to reach the 1,400 career strikeout mark. He joined the likes of Sid Fernandez, Jerry Kuzman, Dwight Gooden, and who else but the franchise himself, Tom Seaver. All right, check this out. The Bronx Bombers beat the Indians for a second straight night thanks to some bombs from John Carlos Stanton to the work of J.D. Martinez, who spent the offseason correcting a flaw in his swing. You think it worked? I'm going to go with, uh, yes, I think it did. Now, just look at what J.D.'s doing. He leads the majors in extra base hits. He leads the majors in RBI. And, oh, yeah, he's tied with Ronald Acuna Jr. for the MLB lead in home runs. We're going to go ahead and say fla gone. Speaking of Acuna Jr., let's get you to Atlanta for the Now entering Friday, who held the Mets record for most strikeouts in a three-start span? Go ahead. Think about it. We'll have the answer later in the show. But first, your towering touch em alls presented by Midas. She called there. Well, welcome back. Before the break, we asked, entering Friday, who held the Mets record for most strikeouts in a three-start span? The answer? Dwight Gooden, who had 43 Ks and three starts back in 1984. Now, Jacob deGrom matched that mark with his 15K performance to get to 43 as well. Now on to the Marlins and Giants, where hopefully... Well, Tyler Glasnow came in with a .73 ERA over his first four starts, but a rocky first frame was all it took to beat him on Friday. And on a weird note, Glasnow became the first pitcher since 1902 to both strike out four and allow four runs in one inning. Now let's go west to Houston for the Angels and the Astros. Well, this is not what the Angels were hoping for when they traded to acquire Rysel Iglesias from Cincinnati in December. Now just look at how his 2021 measures up or fails to. Now with his 2020 season, Friday marks the third time this year he's allowed multiple earned runs. His ERA climbed to an ugly 771 after this one. Well, the Royals take this one 6-2, to two, and Jorge Soler, well, he's in the final year of his contract with Kansas City, and I'm willing to bet he'd like to have his next contract based on his numbers against the Tigers. Since the start of 2019, Soler has driven in 31 runs versus Detroit and is posted in otherworldly 1320 OPS. Jacob deGrom not only got the run support he needed for the win tonight, but he made some more history. Joining Garrett Cole and Pedro Martinez is the only pitchers to throw 14 Ks in three straight starts. No one's done it in four straight, and he'll get a chance to do it next time out against the Red Sox. Now let's head to Minnesota for the Pirates and the Twins. Let's be honest, none of us can get enough Fernando Tatis Jr. So yeah, of course he's going to be the subject of this installment of LG Red Alert. And on the 22nd anniversary of his pops, hitting not one, but two grand slams inside of a single inning at Dodger Stadium, the young star channeled that same energy going yard not once, but twice on Friday in the same park. You gotta love a father-son full circle moment. Well, that does it for this edition of Quick Pitch for our great crew here at MLB Network. I'm Lauren Gardner. We'll see you next time.